Hello, and this is James Lourish back with what looks like it's going to be the coup de gras of Titan's Quest Director's Cut. Okay, here we go. Sky Tower, I remember seeing this on... I remember seeing this on... On, on Chris Miller's YouTube channel, youtube.com slash jerkwad152. He advertised this also on Screenshot of the Week. This is... And finally I get to play it. He... Looks beautiful. Not that hard. I'm gonna imagine there's not gonna be much of a secret fight. Well, the Wizard's Magic doesn't reflect. That's interesting. I don't know how Chris did that, unless he just made a new E-weapon, which is certainly possible. He. Good thing I went here. This was one of my favorite ideas. I'm shocked Chris didn't use the silver and gold dark nuts and in his fifth button. Okay. This is a traditional room. Powered boss. And that's one dead gold dark nut. How do we open this? There we go.
getting harder to would be nice. That'll help. He. Trying to line fight these guys, but not having a good not a success doing it. E Breath doesn't seem to stick around. Though. How many of these arrows is it going to take? I imagine this is going to be the ball here, the magic key. Bosky. Parts that will be very useful. I'm surprised these things don't throw swords or have other unique toys to deal with. Ow. Not good. Dead.
Now silver and gold dark nuts together. Hmm. Ooh, that was one. Okay, that's one less enemy to deal with. Ooh, that was close. Getting close, I think. You move in such a weird bad Hopefully there's nothing after you. I imagine we take 16 hits, but the way this quest is going.
Why I didn't pay attention to this. I watched the spoilers and I would have been real. I get to see the ending. And that's a wrap! I'm sorry for not being a little more entertaining, but this was quite a difficult quest and I had to pay attention. So, once again, I want to thank Chris Miller, K.A. Call Today, and other names he's had for making this quest 10 years in the making. Gotta give him credit, and it kind of showed, even though there are a few glitches here and there he's got to work on. And I also suggest if he makes another version of it to put some custom enemies in it with scripting. Especially the Titan, I'd like to see something different at the end. Instead of the traditional Ganon battle, which is what he seemed to cover it up with. Alright, well, this is James Sword signing off with Titan's Quest Director's Cut. This is the last part. Have a nice day. Bye!